Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mengs, and I welcome you to part 6 of Let's Play Fire Emblem 4. Last time, we lost to about 3 characters, so I need to start paying more attention and be more careful with what I'm doing. Be less obsessed with treasure, and actually be more obsessed with actually keeping my guys alive. Because my obsession uh, for the western town actually led me to lose both Ethlyn and Quan. So, one chapter in. Yes, this is actually chapter 1, since the previous one was a prologue. And I already lost three characters, so I need to be more careful. I really need to be more careful. Alright, so Lex has taken a beating. Uh, I've decided that I actually want to try and capture uh, Marfa, is that the name of it? Marfa Castle first. Because I've actually never done that before, and I don't know what happens here if you actually decide to go there first. If not, I'm simply just going to make a cut and move my troops up here and get Ira. I'm surprised she hasn't started moving towards me yet, because... Um, I remember her doing that pretty quickly. Um, okay, so we need to mop up these guys. Let's see, Arden can take down, at least do some damage to one of these guys. That's kind of what he does best. And uh, I need to make sure I get the hero axe later on from for Lex. Alright. That's good, Arden has softened up this guy. Uh, Noish. Maybe Noish can uh, deal with this guy. At least do some damage to him, so anyway, some someone else can finish him off. Yeah. Oh, that was the darkness sword. Double darkness sword proc, actually. That is very interesting. It's a good ability. Really good ability. If he can pass that down to someone, I think I said that in the first episode. But if he can, if if he, if I pair him up with Ira, that'd be sick. Imagine that. Oh, maybe if, if it's a sword skill, though, it may not proc alongside other sword skills. That's something to keep in mind. But still, imagine if it could, like, Meteor Sword and then, um, and then, uh, Char... No, sorry, Meteor Sword and Darkness Sword combined. Sounds OP as fuck. Okay, so we need to take down the guys with the most health first. This guy really needs to die. Uh, come to think of it, I might not have enough firepower to get these guys down. Let's see, Aesil may be able to take care of this guy with 51 health, uh, if he procs continue. Uh, and if he st STOP MISSING! There we go. I didn't get a second continue, but... Blah blah. PRECISELY! Now, in order for us, the remnants of the Looped Empire, to once again enter the world stage, we must awaken the Dark Lord at any cost. Sandima, you know as well as I what we've been through. We spent the last hundred years in hiding deep within the Yi Desert, suffering extreme hardships, dreaming the day would come for us to rebuild the Empire. Well, that day is now upon us! Understood. I will see my mission true, even if it takes me my last breath. Alright. That's interesting. The day plan to revive- Oh, right, they're attacking the castle. Okay, so who do I talk with? I think it's Aiden who recruits Jamka. He's actually a very dangerous unit. Very dangerous. What? Granville is taking Genoa Castle? I must get to Shannon. Alright, it's time to recruit Ira. That's always cool. Oh. Just gonna adjust my headset a little bit. There we go. Alright! So that's cool. We need to go and recruit Ira. Um. I think Finn. Yeah, I'm just gonna run away with Finn. Okay, so, uh. Then that guy will get to retaliate on him, and of course, consider. I don't. This attack will probably be a hit too. Thank god, though. Likes do not miss. That would have kinda made me angry if that would have happened. Alright. Magic? Really? He leveled magic? Isn't it magic growth like 5%? That's very impressive. So Lex wants to be a mage. That's cute. Alright, so, uh, let's see. I don't think there's anyone stopping us from attacking this castle now. Just set up a defensive uh, perimeter here with Arden and the two knights. There we go. Midale, he needs to stay next to Aiden and Aesil. So we should be pretty prepared to uh, face these guys. They're gonna take some time to walk through the forest to meet us. They are barbarians, so they do walk 
through the forest quicker than most people, but still. It's a pretty big choke point there. You can choke them out, but the problem is that they can actually move into the thicket. So, uh, and you cannot, which is not cool. Anyway, we're gonna go recruit Ira now, and then we're gonna go... Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm terribly sorry to bring all of you from Chalfi into this! No worries there! Everyone will just... Everyone will just be glad to know that you're alright. We have things under control here, Aiden. Why don't you head on back to Granbel? No, I'm staying! There is bound to be more injuries hurdle along! I want to keep others in the service of the Lord! To help others, I mean! Aiden, you don't... You don't leave the knight to become a... <laughs> God, okay, Manx, start talking. Aiden, didn't you leave the knighthood to become a nun? I think it suits you perfectly. I do I do well to learn a thing or two from you myself. Actually, the sole reason I joined the nunnery is... Well, it's to aid the chances of finding my sister. You must mean Bridget. She's been missing since your childhood, hasn't she? You still believe you can find her, do you? That's correct. And when I do, I must give the holy bow Ichival to her. Okay, I see. Alright. I think I forgot to turn off Skype again. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm just gonna go turn it off. Note to self, always turn off Skype. Okay. Anyway. So, um... Yeah, I think I think that's it for conversations. Right. Let's just go and... Oh, there's a guy and it's healing over there. That's, uh, Noish, I think? Yes, it is Noish. We'll just send the Cavaliers to take down that Mountain Thief over there. I'm a little bit worried about the boss, though. He seems pretty beefy. Hit points and magic. Oh, well, that's nice. Let's just go take down this guy. Maybe we can get that amazing... Oh, right, the animations. I need to turn them back on. And Fraps just crashed. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> I, I really do not know. Uh, I, it's a lot of strange things happening at once right here. There we go. Okay, let us uh, kill this guy. I'm not sure if Noish can take him down. Maybe if he gets his uh, Darkness Sword ability? Or, or if he gets a crit, that works too. Is Noish wearing pink armor? I'm just wondering. Or am I... I'm colorblind, so it might be red. Not sure, but I'm guessing we'll find out. Okay, keep me down next to Aiden as much as possible. At least until... Um, at least until the 40th turn. We can only build relations until turn 40. After that, it's it, it doesn't work anymore. Alright, let's see, maybe Arden can do something to this guy. 15% chance to hit. That is ludicrously bad. Very bad. This is gonna be a tough one, I think. Uh, we need Sigurd's leadership aura in order to hit this guy at all, I think. Maybe we need Ar- uh, Maybe we need the... Um, uh, what is it? Not Arya. That's the girl in Game of Thrones. Ar- Ira. We might need her, come to think of it. Cause she she'd be pretty amazing against this guy, but I've chosen to do this wonky way, so... We'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe Aesil? 13% uh, chance to hit. That is just horrible. Uh, Midel can attack him without getting retaliated on, but 11% chance to hit. Well, it's worth something. Oh, they have a conversation. What? You're that Archer Knight from before. Man, I blew it. I can't believe you're still alive. Prepare yourself, Gandalf. I'll never forgive someone like you. Midel's gonna get owned again. Isn't that lovely? Well, that didn't do much. Um, does anyone else need healing? I think everyone's pretty much topped off. Yeah, we're good. Uh, can Alec do anything against this guy? I doubt it. 45% chance to hit is actually not bad. Uh, only problem is... He's gonna need healing later. Uh, I guess we could try. Maybe if I put Noish next to him? Maybe he can get that critical thing? That'd be cool. So 45% chance to hit, and he's gonna do 41 damage? Are you fucking kidding me? That's gonna one-shot me! There's no way I can do this. So, let me just do some calculations. Uh, 31, uh, math is difficult when you're drinking wine. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna one-shot me, so I can't do this. How about Lex? Lex can't hit him. <sighs> God damn it! How do you do this? How about Arden? Arden should be able to put a dent in him. So 41 damage, though. Ugh, that's almost as much hit point as Arden have, except that Arden got defense to back it up. I guess we could try. Well, at least he's doing some damage, and his defense does make him. It does protect him, so that's good. This could work. 
The problem is he heals up every turn, so I need to do a substantial amount of damage before Arden can actually, you know, wound him. But we'll we'll just have to see. I, I think I think we're uh, I think we're gonna bring him down. But I think it's uh, I think Arya is kind of meant to deal with this guy because she's amazing against these kind of enemies. Her meteor sword is OP and he heals almost to full, so that's pretty retarded. And I'm guessing he's gonna attack with a bow as well. No, actually he's gonna attack with an axe. That's nice. Aha! Big shield in your face! That's gonna be a level of Arden. Nice. Hit points, strength, speed, and defense. Oh my god, Arden. Your defense is insane! I think I'm just gonna keep killing this guy with Arden. To be quite honest, because that just seems to work. I'm surprised that Arden is hitting the guy, though, with 41% chance to hit. Actually, he can survive another attack. Maybe I should, uh... Maybe I should be bolts and try and try to hit him with Aesop. If 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 that if I'm gonna do that, then I need Sigur right here so I get the Aura. Uh, let's see. He does 38 damage. 37, 36, 35, 30. He's gonna so Ace is gonna have one hit point remaining after dealing with this guy, and I can heal him back up. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna top him off as well. Uh, the only thing is I need to um, I need to actually make sure that Ace is topped. If not, he's actually going to die. But uh, as for now, I'm not gonna attack because if he gets a retaliation on him, I've already used up my healer, so... But we can always try to hit him with an arrow. I mean, it can't, can't hurt, right? And especially not if I proc charge. So, is he gonna attack? Oh, right, so there's, there's multiple phases. I always forget about that. He's gonna get... he's gonna go down. He's not going to be able to bring Arden down. He doesn't have any crits, so... I don't understand how he managed to crit Midale in the first place. I guess Midale must really suck. Anyway, now he's actually starting to... Uh, he's starting to wound Arden quite a bit now, so I need to heal Arden up. But I really want to hit him with... Uh, with Aesol. But I think as long as Arden stays here, uh, he's going to attack Arden. But he can survive three hits from Gandalf. That is pretty beastly. Oh, come on. But he didn't get hits, and that's a good thing. That means I can attack with Aesel next turn. And I know it's kind of redundant to do this, but still, I gotta try. You know, it's it could be... It's like 5 damage, but still. Come on! Heal... God damn it, Gandalf. Maybe his axe breaks. That would be kind of good. Oh, I actually need to be a little bit careful on who I kill him with, because um, uh, he actually has a skill ring. Do you know, that would be amazing for Arya. Or for Ira. Arya. God damn it. Ira, yeah, actually, that would be pretty cool, because uh, her... Ah, she's beastly enough as it is without the skill ring. Um, I think maybe I'd give the skill ring to Noish. Because Noish has Wrath. And he also has um, the Darkness Sword, which I'm pretty sure procs on skill. If he got some more skill, he'd be a pretty good unit, actually. Um, I'm not really sure who else I'd be giving it to. Um, Lex could use the skill, because he does struggle with hit rating, so that is something. But Lex is never going to be able to land the final blow on the guy. So um, I am actually going to try and hit him, hit him now. We'll see how that goes. Oh, he has a conversation with Aesla as well. Who are you? You got a lot of nerve to attack me, you little brat. So you're Gandalf. How dare you attack Aiden? All right, he's in love with Aiden. I keep forgetting. Twenty-three percent chance to hit. Ah! This, this can't be. Ah! Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. So Aesla got the skill ring, I guess. Now he has two rings. Guessing we're gonna have to go sell that at the pawn shop then. Hit points, speed, magic, and luck. That is an amazing level up. And a skill ring. You know, because why not? This is our ring whore. Well, I say we go and uh, cap the bloody castle then. And I need to remember to keep me down next to Aiden. I really forget that a lot of the times. Okay. Keep the other guys away. Let's go seize it. Stop it! Let go of me! Oh, that's Diodora! <laughs> What's your matter? Don't you want to have a little fun? Please, just let me be on my way! Grr, sweetie, you'd best shut your trap. Hey, what's going on here? Let go of the girl! 
What gives? I'll be touch that grand belly and holy night. That's right, so get moving. Nothing gets under my skin more than scum like you. You apologize to the girl, then get out of my sights. Uh, all right already. Uh, sorry, miss. I'm just having a little fun. Are you okay? Did he hurt you at all? No, I'm fine. Thank you very much, Sigur. Er, you know who I am? Yes, I met a woman here in the castle a little while ago named Aiden. Aiden said something about me? She did. You're just how I imagined you'd be. What's, uh, your name? Uh, I'm sorry, I must go. Hey, hold on, I just wanted to talk. I'm sorry. I'm glad we were able to meet. What? what's the problem? Wait, jeez. Aw, oh, Sigur not having any luck with the lady. Then she disappears into the forest. Sigur, what seems to be troubling you? Sir, that woman who was just here, do you know who she is? Ah, yes, that should be Deodora. Uh, yeah, I call her Deodora. That's, that's not gonna change. She's a shaman of the spirit forests. Deodora? She's so beautiful. Aha, even a man of your caliber falls readily for a pretty woman. Perhaps it's love at first sight. Sir, please, I'm serious. There was something about her. I hope to meet her again. That might be a tad difficult. You see, the villagers of the Spirit Force do not involve themselves with the outside world. Moreover, that girl is you're so fond of is strictly forbidden from associating with men. The villagers believe that a great catastrophe will befall us if that were ever violated. I'll get right to the point, Sigur. Resign yourself of that girl. That sounds like superstitious nonsense to me. No one should be forced to live like that. Theodora, we must meet again. Yeah, that catastrophic event you just talked about <laughs> could be the plot of the game. Who knows? Alright, so we capture the castle. Mm. Amazing. Right, I wonder if this this will probably trigger some kind of scene, I suppose. Or maybe not. Yes, it will. Oh, I love this music. <laughs> <laughs> Granbell's invading Verdane with that small of an army? How asinine! Okay, here's our chance. First we take Evans, and then we'll shoot straight for the border. It's that... that's Herahim's troops. King Elshan must be informed. Immediately! Uh-oh. Yeah, that's right. But, if I remember correctly, Elshan is gonna come and save our ass, hopefully. <laughs> Because I am no one to guard that castle. At all. Alright, so uh, if I remember correctly, uh, these knights will be intercepted by Elchon, hopefully. Because if they actually take the castle, then that's going to be a little bit of a trouble for me. Um, but just in case... Just in case, I'm actually just going to... Let's enter the city first. Because I do believe there's something to be doing here. Doing here? Yes. I shall fix this for ya. See, maybe there's some items to buy here? No, that's just limb sword. I don't really need that. Wow, that's expensive. And a wind tome. I'm not sure if I can use that. And I think you need to be a wind mage. Anyway, I'm actually gonna run up and uh, if they by any chance try to capture the castle, then I will be there. I think it is time uh, to do a little bit of a renaming. Actually, and I actually want Alex to get the get that sword, so I'm gonna send Alex. I'm not sure if he gets the leadership bonus from Sigurd, but if that's the case, then I should probably keep Sigurd around. Ah, fuck it. So, um, I am going to be firstly, well, firstly, firstly, I am going to be buying the sword. Hmm, that's an expensive sword. I don't want the slim sword. Is it any good in this game? Actually, can I check its stats? Yes, I can. Um, it only has five might, which is to be expected from a silver, from a uh, slim sword. Ah, I don't want that. But I did. No, not the storage, the pawn shop. There we go. <laughs> Takes a while to get used to Fire Emblem Four. It's a lot of things. Okay, so let's buy that steel sword. That is going to come in handy because the cutter is a little bit heavy. And uh, there we go. So let's uh, let's take a trip into the arena, shall we? 
Let's use the let's use the steel sword. Actually, the steel sword is heavier than the cutter, but it might just be the thing we need to defeat this guy, or maybe not. Come on, Alec, you can do this. <laughs> well, maybe not. Wow. Okay, maybe, maybe. Come on, come on, Alec. Come on. Oh, come on, Alec. Seriously. Well, that's... Well, we're not going to be able to do anything here, I guess. So, I suppose we should just heal up. Maybe we can try sending Medeo into the arena. See how he, he performs. The longbow isn't my favorite weapon, but... Who knows? We might as well try. The arena is a lot of fun, uh, but mostly it gives you money for repairs, which you sorely need. Okay, this is the arena. Uh, let's see what happens. Axe Fighter is most likely going to be throwing axes at us, that is done. Ugh, I don't like these odds. The charge skill is useless in the arena, needless to say. Okay, we might actually lose the first fight, which is very, very... Yeah. Midale isn't exactly the best unit until he gets a decent bow. Well, he might win. Ah, crit! That's cool. Can he crit? Seriously? Since when? Ah, yeah, he can crit. Ah, I completely forgot about that. Well, that's some nice experience. Let's see how what we're facing this time. A fire mage. I don't think this is going to go well at all. Ah, it may go well. But I can survive... Oh, I dodged. Nice! Actually, that went... That went spl splendidly. But that could have gone very, very bad. Alright, hit points and magic defense. Well, okay. I guess that's okay. But still, I'd like some useful stats. Thank you very much. A lancer with a javelin. Hmm. This does not look good. I might get a crit, though. You never know. 5% chance. But, um, I think I'm gonna be... I'm gonna have to be very lucky to win this one. Nope, that doesn't work. But hey, Midale actually got, um... He did, um, uh, he did win one fight, so... I guess I'm not gonna complain too much. But there is one guy I really want to send into the arena, and that is Aesil. I think he might do very well for himself. Um, I can keep the skill ring for this arena gauntlet, and then I'm gonna sell it. And I think I'm either gonna give it to Lex or Noish. I think maybe Noish, because Noish has a lot of skill that depends on um, critical, or a lot of skills that, that depend on skill. So hmm, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do that. But I need to make sure that he can actually afford it. So that's very important. Yeah, this is gonna go perfectly, no problem. Unless I get really unlucky, famous last words. I love how the mages just dart back whenever they dodge, like, oh, yoink! You can't do shit, man! Alright, so maybe maybe I can actually win this gauntlet? That'd be amazing. Fire mage! Hmm, fight fire with fire. <laughs> well, that guy's fucked. I love how they heal you up after every arena fight. It really makes it awesome, because you can really go through the gauntlet without having to heal up every time. Okay, a Lancer. This is the Iron Lance guy, who has been knocking off a lot of my guys. Let's see if Aesil can actually deal with this guy. Ah, 50% chance to hit, though. Ah, never mind! <laughs> he went down really quickly. That's awesome. And a level up for Aesil. So what will he get? Hit points, strength, and magic. I love the fact that he levels up strength. Really love it. Uh, let's see. Uh, sword fighter. This is going to be a tough one. Because he's most definitely... No, he's not faster than me, actually. He's not faster, or else he would have activated pursuit. So it's probably the speed ring, though. But Aesil has continue. So... Wow, Aesil's a beast. Holy crap, he's good. That is insanely awesome. Alright, so... Uh, who's the next opponent? Bakus, the axe armor. Well, he's gonna get violated because he's an armor knight. 
Yeah, this is, this is not even going to be a fight. My god, Asel, you scary. Is that guy's done for? Ooh, can we actually win the gauntlets? There's usually someone very strong at the end. Okay, we're getting a lot of gold at least. Um, who's this guy? A wind mage. Oh, that's not good. Uh, aren't wind mages good against fire mages? I think they may be. No, actually, it's the other way around. Fire is good against wind. Haha! <laughs> Fucker. Oh, he actually hit with 9%. That's not cool. But yeah, uh, Aesle is both faster than him, and he has a weapon triangle advantage. So, <laughs> this is not gonna go good for the Wind Mage, let's just put it that way. He has an L-Wind as well, which is ridiculously powerful. Come on, Aesle, come on, seriously. This isn't happening. There we go. Wow. He's doing much better than I thought he would. And another level up. Maybe he'll... He's going to become a mage knight soon. Hit points! That's crappy. Very crappy. Uh, there's more? Seriously? This is a general. Oh my god. Well, that's that's great, actually. Yeah, they have big shield, but... Uh, wow. He has 11 resistance. Seriously? But he has 19 to hit. That's never going to work out for him. Let's hope his big shield doesn't proc. Well, it didn't. Wonderful. <laughs> Don't tell me there's more. That's it. There's no one left to fight. So, Aesel actually completed the entire gauntlet. That is amazing. Okay, so I think this, the skill ring is worth a lot. So, um, he can't use... He can use wind! I'm gonna... I'm getting that then. Alright, so, um, let's see. Uh, it's the pawn shop. So, how much is this thing worth? Uh, oh, seriously? 10,000? So it's gonna be worth 20,000? You gotta be kidding me. Because you buy things at double price. Ooh, so I need 20,000 gold just to buy a ring? Uh, that's kind of a blunder. I guess he's gonna keep it then. Uh, Noish has nowhere near that amount. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna be good. Well, I guess Arden could go into the arena then. Arden's probably gonna be able to do great. Uh, the only thing with him is that... Uh, he, um... Actually, I can send him into the ranged arena. That that would actually be good. Except if he meets a mage, that's not going to go well for him. We'll see. We'll start with the sword. Axe fighter, no problem at all. Not that Arden needs the experience, but getting some gold on him is always nice. So, <laughs> lol. I think he's gonna struggle versus the Wind Mage, though. That's probably where he's gonna lose. I'm pretty sure of that. Unless he gets Big Shield a lot, he's not gonna be able to hit him. So, um... So this is a Mage. That could be bad. I probably should have equipped the bow for this. Arden's resistance is not great, but he does have Big Shield. And he does have Fire Resistance, so he might be able to pull through on this. He could get the Sun Sword. That'd be amazing. Okay, good. He dealt with the mage. Let's see, who's the next guy? Isn't that the Lance Knight? Uh, this is level 3. Yeah, that's the Lance guy, but I think... I, he's a physical attacker, so what can he really do against Arden? Unless he deals an insane amount of physical damage, he's not gonna be able to kill Arden. Yeah, he's, he's not even gonna do damage to him. One damage, right, right. In this game, everyone does at least one point of damage, regardless of defense. There's no no damage, except for the big shield. Which is kind of the no damage of this game. So theoretically, you can win every fight if you're just lucky enough. If you have the insane numbers on your side. Okay, a level up for Arden. What level will he be? Hit points and magic defense. That is actually great. I always love it when generals level up resistance, because it's their greatest weakness. So remedying that weakness makes them good. Okay, this can be a tricky one. Actually, no, he, he will do one damage to me. Which, you know, he could still win if he just hits me enough. This is gonna be a long fight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is gonna be a long fight. Ex no, actually, no, it's not gonna be a long fight. So yeah, the Wind Mage is what worries me. Uh, I think Arden's gonna get his ass kicked by that Wind Mage. Mm, this is the Axe Armor, so that's fine. We're gonna kill him, but the Wind Mage... 
might just not fight him, I think. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe equip the bow. I'm not sure if the bow is easier to hit with, but uh, I don't think it is. Yay, Sun Sword. Useless, but... Well, he's going down. Yeah! Oh, come on! And down. No, <laughs> come on! Seriously. And down! There you go. See, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Alright. Um, who's that? Is that the Wind Mage? Ugh. Maybe we should use the Steel Bow. Well, actually, the Steel Bow is more accurate, and it has more damage. It weighs more, but it doesn't matter, because the Wind Mage is going to beat us anyway. Alright, let's see how this goes. 44%, 42% chance to hit. Are we going to get doubled? Yeah, this is not going to work. I'm going to leave. Oh, maybe not. Nah, we're going to die on the next one. Concede. And we're going to repair our weapons. Always repair your weapons after an arena fights. It's actually a pretty smart thing to do. Also, I do believe that uh, Arden can, can use uh, axes, so I'm going to buy him an axe. Maybe I'll even buy him a slim sword. I mean, why not? He does struggle hitting sometimes. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe I'll do that. There's a lot of weapons for him, but still. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll buy him a slim sword. No, wait, I don't have the money. Wow, that's an expensive sword. Why are they so expensive? I wonder. I really wonder. Alright, uh, Lex got his ass kicked in the arena fight, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I think we've done enough arena for now. Um... I would like to cut at this stage, uh, because I'm doing a lot of walking over to the other castle. But uh, I think that uh, there's going to be something interesting happening now, so I'm just gonna keep recording. At least I hope so. Are they really moving towards my castle? Alright, here we go. What? Heron has troops heading for Evans? Hmm, Elliot just couldn't stay out of this, could he? Lakishis, watch the castle. I'm going to back up Sigurd. Do what you can for him, Elchin. Cross knights, move out! Our battle is with Prince Elliot of Herheim. His troops shouldn't pose much of a problem, but do stay alert. Ah, here they go, the cross knights. Elliot, as a knight, I can't have you sneaking around like some petty thief. Just pull out right now. I know you're not ready to face me either. Elchin, are you mad? Don't tell me you've sided with Granbell. Don't you realize you're running in direct violation to our superior's orders? The Reverend King Augusty has no desire to wage war against Granbell. <laughs> Only you would be foolish enough to take that old man seriously anymore. Besides, the Lords of the Dominion have already unified against Granbell. Not all of them. Anyway, a war... A war now would incur huge sacrifices on both sides. Our past is a testament to that. The noble class aren't the ones aren't the ones who suffer in the end. It's the powerless citizens who suffer, and I'm not about to let that happen. As always, your head is in the clouds, Selchin. I knew it'd come to this sooner or later. Let's settle with this once and for all, men. Noidon is now the enemy! I want Elchin dead! Good luck with that, my friend. We're killing guys, we're completely overpowered. Yeah, spoiler, uh, the green guys win. <laughs> pretty, pretty badly at that, so... Yeah, they, they win pretty, pretty hard, actually. These guys are pretty doomed. In one case, uh, in one case, when I played, I've actually seen one of the Cross Knights get killed. Uh, but I don't think Elchin can get killed. Well, Elliot is actually capable of doing some damage to them. But Elchin himself, well, <laughs> that's another story. He has a pretty powerful weapon, I should say that. Mistletain! Yeah, his story is actually named Mistletoe. <laughs> now we're 
gonna die so very horror horribly we are gonna get slaughtered by the cross knights I apologize for my singing when I drink this happens yeah so this is um yeah you know what green guys win spoiler alert now we're gonna cut Dead and he's dead and he's dead. Okay, now okay, he's not dead yet. Now he's dead. Goodbye. All right, so I hope you are not upset with me for cutting that that away. I mean, after all, it's just a bunch of NPCs battling. The story uh, behind it is, is what is important. So they've driven them off. They've uh, made the guy retreat, so he's not dead. If you want to take a look at Elchon, this is Elchon, he's pretty cool, he's a paladin. Uh, he has the Mistultin, which is, reminds me of Mistletoe, which is a really good sword. Uh, and he has five leadership stars, my god. And uh, Major Hazul Blood. An ambush, which is kind of cool. These guys are all pretty beefy. So I decided to just uh, move Sigur and Finn up here. I'm not sure if Sigur has a... Uh, no, he, he has no conversation with Elchon, it seems. So, uh, I'm just going to leave the rest of the guys here, because I believe I'm going to be able to do this with just Sigur and Finn. Uh, the only thing I need to do is take the castle, and I'm going to lure Ar uh, Arya away. Uh, Ira. Ira! Her name is Ira! I do believe Etron pulls back now. Elliot fled, did he? Let him be for now. Withdraw to the castle! And we are going to remove... In seriously. Alright, so the knights have all retreated. Uh, now comes the task of managing to recruit Ira. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in with uh, Finn. Uh, I'm not sure. I think these guys are pretty stationary, but Sigur is going to be able to kill them, no problem. Uh, of course, I think they're stationary. That's always a famous last order. But uh, regardless, they shouldn't be enough to kill Finn. <laughs> always. Also a famous last word. So let's see if Ira attacks now. And if she does, we're going to use Sigurd to take the castle, and we're going to just lure her away with Finn. Okay, they, they will actually attack him, which is not nice. Okay, that's not good at all. We're going to have to use Sigurd to uh, deal with this. Okay, they, okay they're all going to attack me. That is a bit problematic, actually. Uh, <laughs> that is very problematic, actually. Um, okay, maybe I should have sent some other units somewhere. <laughs> Ah, uh, goddammit. Okay, so we're gonna have to retreat with Finn. And, um... Hmm. That is not good. So if, if we go here, I should be able to retreat pretty far away. Also famous last words. My god, I suck at strategy. Anyway. Sigurd should be able to uh, deal with these guys. The only thing is I need to not hit Ira. That is what's important here. And I need to get her to somehow... That's, also, that's actually perfect. I need to somehow make her go towards Finn instead of Sigurd. So we'll see if I can make that happen. Of course, they're going to attack me with Killer Axes. That is a little bit annoying. Especially if they keep hitting me! 16%! What's this bullshit? Okay, at least he's going to be able to strike back against that guy. But seriously, 60... 36%! You better not hit me. That's right, mister. You just stop hitting me. And then we'll see what Ira does. Okay, so she is moving towards me. If I can only make it so that Finn is closer than Sigurd. So, I need to... Attack these guys. Kill them off, so Finn can uh, move through them. And then, I simply need to move far, far away. There we go. I could actually make them uh, go for Finn. 1, 2, 3, 4... Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... If I can make... That's actually, that's actually perfect. If I can position Finn right here... Then they should move towards him. If I'm not mistaken, they should move towards him. All of them. They're actually not moving at all, are they? <sighs> They're not moving at all. Wonderful! Wonder-fucking-full. That's just great. 
So how come they do that? Alright then. I'm gonna have to lure them out then. <sighs> okay, come on. Move towards Finn. He's right there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go towards Sigurd. Okay, that's actually good. Great! Amazing. That's just what I wanted to happen. Alright, so now I just need to make sure that I am far away from her range. See, her movement is 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I just move up here, she should keep con uh, following me and I can just lure her around. Just may need to make absolutely sure that she does not move towards Sigur. As long as I can do that, we're completely fine. What was that sound? Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Sounded like a computer being smashed or something. I think we're good here. I really think we're good. Hmm. They're not moving at all. Well, that actually suit fits me perfectly, but what I don't like about it is that I fear Ira might actually come towards Sigur right now. As long as I don't go within reach of this guy, I should be good. As long as I can finish off this guy, I should be good. Thank God for the roads, that's all I can say. Alright, so if I stay still now, I hope that they won't move towards me. Please do not move towards me. Okay, no wait, that's Verdane. This is Verdane. Okay, they're not moving, thank God. So I can ride past them, hopefully that will not trigger them. If they do, I'll be I'll be sorry. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Verdane, here it comes. Please do not move. Okay, thank god they're not moving. So now I can go and take this castle. Uh, hopefully, Sigur is gonna be strong enough to take on this captain. He he should be. 32% chance to hit though, and 69? Are you kidding me? That's not good. Um I think we're gonna stop by the church first. Alright, not in his range. Yeah, we're gonna use the church dealers. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I am making a mess of this. I really am. <laughs> Alright, so after we take this castle, I think we will end this part. Alright, church, heal me up. This is gonna build some nice romance for, uh, for Midale and Aiden, though. Gotta give him that. Okay, time to take out this guy. Hopefully it's gonna be enough. The castle gives you a shit ton of avoidance, which makes it a little bit hard. And apparently I'm not quick enough to, uh, to take on this guy. And of course it's the dreaded heal. Okay. This could take a while. Now, I was actually going to count that battle away, but uh, suddenly Ira decides to start talking. What the hell is going on? Alright, let's do this. Anyone that gets near me is going down. Oh, that caused her to move. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Now, the only thing I'm actually a little bit afraid of is that they might go and capture my castle. I didn't quite think that one through, did I? Uh, so she has a movement of six. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. As long as I stay here, I should be fine. But the only thing that worries me is that other guy. Yeah, I need to kill this guy quickly. What the hell am I? Why didn't I send more guys? I don't understand why I'd keep doing that. Come on, Sigur. Ow! Ow, that hurts. That really hurts. That's not cool, man. It's not cool. Yeah, I hope they won't go and kill my castle. That'd be terrible. Yeah, Sigur, you kind of need to deal with this guy. Quickly. I'm sure how, how long Finn can hold out. Crap! He's getting attacked! Okay, I can kill him, though. That's a good thing to know. I can kill him. So the kiting, the kiting reigns. And at least I have a church to heal me up. It does cost gold though, but Sigur has a lot of gold, so that's completely fine. 
I just need to hit with this stupid silver sword. Come on. Come on! Just kill him already. Okay, so I can actually kill this guy. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. As long as I stay here, I should be good. Considering Finn can hit the guy, which he should be able to. He should be able to. 99% chance to hit. If he had missed that, I would have been screaming out of rage. Alright, so as long as I position myself around here, he should be good. I can uh, keep running around the bushes with Ira. But uh, this battle, however, <laughs> it's so stupid. Come on! There you go. Two more hits and he's down. Okay, come on, we need to hit this. We need to hit this. Come on, Sigurd! Stop it! Why are you so retarded, Sigurd? Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. As long as I stay up here, I should be good. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Oh! -ho -ho. Ah, I almost blundered there. I need to stay here. Or else, I am a dead man. I do believe that Ira will simply just kill Finn. Because Finn is not ex Well, he does have a lance. But if that Meteor Sword procs, I am as good as dead. Okay, I might be able to kill the guy next turn if I can hit. Get some skill, Sigur. Strength, luck, and magic defense. Well, luck does give you a bonus to hit, doesn't it? If I remember correctly, it does. I think it does. I hope it does. I guess we'll find out. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't give you hits. It just gives you a void, I think. Alright, he's going down! Thank God. Alright, so now we can seize it. Wonderful. Sir, there was a small child locked up in the castle dungeon. What's up? Why aren't you talking? Who locked you up in there? Aren't you Kinboys, man? We took care of Kinboys. You're safe with us. Really? Then Ira doesn't have to fight anymore? They're making my auntie fight against her will. Please, you gotta go help her. That sword fighter out there? I thought something was different about her. I'll go get her. I'll go let her know that you're alright. So, what's your name? Shannon, I'm a prince of the kingdom of Isaac. You are the prince of Isaac? You're serious, aren't you? I bet you've been through a lot. You do best to stay with our troops for now. Just be patient for the time being. You'll make it back to your country someday. Sir, we're currently at war with Isaac. Shouldn't we inform the king of this? Oifi, that war has nothing to do with this child. I don't care where he's from. We'll find a way to get him home. For now, I just want to keep him safe. Understood. Wow, Sir Sigurd sure is a kind-hearted man. Yay! We captured the castle. And now I do believe it is time to end this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, when we come back, we shall uh, recruit Ira. It's gonna be fun. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.